guys ever won a game by, by 79 points before? <laughs> How, how did it feel kind of knowing that you're putting your foot on the gas from, from start to finish and just not, not laying up at all? Um, great. It's just something that we've been fighting for in practice in the last, this last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, we need that acceleration when we play our next game against UConn. And, and you guys both broke 30 points. And obviously when you were both on the court in the last couple of minutes, you both got there. And uh, the, the bench was getting pretty excited about that. How fun was that knowing that? And you, you had the win already, but uh, you had your teammates kind of cheering you on for that personal goal. It was super fun. I mean, just to celebrate with each other and get a chance to really enjoy our time out there. And I mean, we're all so happy for each other's success. And I think that really showed in the end. Like, we just wanted everybody to get a chance to go crazy. So we really did that. Yeah, I was supposed to, and I was like, Mari, I'm coming to you. <laughs> so yeah, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, Mari, coach keeps calling you a bucket every single time she steps up to this podium. Um, I guess first off, what does that mean to you to get that sort of vote of confidence from your coach, especially a new coach? But also, as she really said tonight, she felt like you contributed you know, throughout the rest of the game, setting screens, talking, rebounding, all that. So I guess just how do you feel about contributing to those other areas? I think it definitely means a lot. I mean, it helps when every day that I walk to the gym, I know I have confidence in my coach as well as my teammates. So I think that just helps push me even more, but to get a chance to help outside of scoring and contribute to the team, that's bigger for me than what I'm putting up on the stat sheet because I know that I'm contributing in other ways and helping my teammates get better. And then Natalie, like a coach kind of talked about in the first half, you coming out somewhat aggressive. I think you had eight points, um, but then you obviously exploded in the second half. Was there any vote of confidence at halftime or was it just you sort of you know, feeling confident about your shot and going out there and getting hot in the second half? Uh, my teammates and also my coaches always instill confidence in me. Um, it's just something that's always been consistent, even when I might not be as confident myself. So just really grateful to have teammates and coaches who always believe in me. And then finally, Coach, or Sam sort of brought it up already about sort of the cheering on the bench, the first career double-double, 30 for both of you. But does it mean a little bit more coming off sort of the rough you know, tournament appearance and, and knowing that you have a big game coming up on Saturday as well against UConn? Yeah, I definitely think uh, it just helps. It just gives us like all the energy and like confidence in the world when we're out there. And like knowing that our bench is going that crazy, and, like it just really gives us confidence when we move forward. And we know that we have to feed off that energy, and that makes us get hyped so much. So I definitely think going into next week, like we just need to continue to carry that on, not only next week but the rest of the season. And we know that like we we have to compete with anybody. Coach Corey always talks about being the most more together, tougher team, um, and that every single one of our roles, whether we're playing or not, is just really important to the family and the team. So really proud of our um, bench for leading that way. Thanks. Um, after last week, obviously it was a, a rough tournament. Did you, did you collectively as a team, did you feel like you had a chip on your shoulder maybe that you wanted to come out and prove something? You know, what was the atmosphere like right after the tournament and what was, you know, the mood of the team heading into this game? I would say that we just knew that we needed to grow. And last week was, I mean, as much of a wake-up call as we can get, we lost two in a row, but we knew that we, as a team and as a unit, we needed to grow in so many areas. And I think that was our mindset going into this week of practice and the rest of the season every day. How much better can we get every single day? How much more can we grow as a family every single day? Defensively, you guys pretty much just shut them down. And, uh, and I'm sure that that's something that coach has been harping on. You know, well, do you guys take it like, like uh, a sense of pride to do you know, what you did to teams like San Jose State, like especially limiting, limiting them from the arc, which, um, you know, hasn't been you know that great lately, but to keep up to hold the way I think it was sixty percent. You know, how much pride do you take in that? Um, sorry, Coach um, Tasha and so and everyone on our staff does such a great job with the scout, and they put so many hours in. They watch so many games, um, and we just wanted to go out there and respect that um, that you work so hard. Thank you.